The local train passes through here. Oh, God. Like a brother, I suppose. Yeah, I see that right. Girl, you've had a good rest. Jeez, she was struggling, my horse. Uh, let me give a quick brush over as a thanks. And then good job of beating Dutch. Hold on. Where are you? Uh, I could probably give her some food. That's another brush over. I accidentally tapped the brush button. Yeah. Uh, Get some pellets. Come on. There you go. Good girl. Actually, want an apple. Beautiful. Lovely and bonded. Uh, let me bring up the map real quick. See what quest we got. I think that's uh, Abigail Roberts needs to speak to me. Uh, Bill Williamson. Anywhere else on the map do we need to go? Uh, apparently not. So I'll probably do the Abigail mission first, because that sounds like a fun mission. But she never usually calls me anything uh, for any missions, so... Let's go over to her, see what she has to say, and then proceed on from there, pretty much. Uh, like I said, I really want to finish this game, hopefully, this weekend. That'd be great. But, I am taking my time with this game. What she says. Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. <sighs> Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you. Here's Abigail, thank you very much for that. Uh, what the hell was that then when I came across my screen? I have no idea. But yeah, it looks like I have to come in all the way from there, racing. I'm going to speak to Jose back at that same place, I think. Alright, girl, let's go. Uh, bring it up on the map real quick. And go to where Jose is. Hopefully we can start making our own uh, sort of uh, moonshine business. Make a little bit of cash on the side, like, you know, build up the funds, you know. I'll see what um, missions there are for like train robberies because I need to do a few more of them as well as treasure maps as well I need to try and find that guy that gives you a treasure map so hopefully we can do that a little bit later as well oh there's Jose how's it going brother what have you got planned for us man hey Arthur what are you doing selling it back to where it came from why I ain't got a market for it they made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. Okay, oh, sounds like a plan. Let me just have a piece of this beef jerky, right? Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. The beef okay. jerky is actually Head really nice, I would recommend. Place. You know the way? Well, um, yeah, I've been there. Wagyu. So, what exactly are we doing? We're tired of recommending. It does melt in your mouth, it's really nice. Still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses. And all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well... I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. Yeah. Well, hopefully, hopefully we can sort of like bring them two together. They can sort out the family quarrels, take back over their own lands, and then from there figure out how to get money from it. Whoops. My bad. 
I did not see that fence for the life of me. Whoa, that could have been pretty bad. I hope they don't bite that. That don't bite me in the ass later on. You fellas want some moonshine? You got some moonshine? Could have done us a pop. Which would be great. Hey. How's it going, fellas? I'm good, how are you? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay, okay. She's at the house. Do apologize about the uh, mic sound then for a second. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. Yes, sir. I'm with you, Jose. I got you back, man. Better. Oh, there's a big entourage of these guys coming with us, and they got lots of guns. I just hope she recognizes me. I think she will. Not been that long. Right on the X. There she is. Something out in the hills. Oh, maybe that's not her actually. Well, maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's ours. <laughs> well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over for the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Oh, relax. I ain't here to rob you. <laughs> oh, it seems that's easy enough. <laughs> Why not do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen. Uh, we didn't take it, at least not without orders from... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Next stop, the road saloon. She seems a bit like a moody old woman. And it goes our way. But hopefully, Jose can sort of charm us his way into it. Got close to a thousand for him. I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were, especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah, that don't surprise me. And let me just get us mic up there a tiny bit. There we go. All right. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. <sighs> we'll need something. I ain't playing dressing. You know my feelings about that. Of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's idiot brother. No, say it, please. I'm the clown. You're the brother turned idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Put this hat on. <laughs> Smoke this pipe. It works. Bring your lip forward just a bit. Squint. Oh. <laughs> you can't speak. You're turned idiot. Right. Yes, sir, I may be with an idiot now. That's why I can't do accents. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. 
Needs the local train passes through here. Oh god. I don't have to smash any bottles if I can help it. Don't know where my horses were going there, but hey ho, my bad. Oh, this is where we drove those uh, women in the protests, if I remember. It was on yesterday's stream, by the way. Anyway, fellas, trying to get past, please. Thank you very much. Got some booze to drop off. Bit of promotional efforts here. Alright, it's tidy. Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to <laughs> strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. Yep. Sounds good. Pick up. I don't think Arthur's appreciating this, though, with they'll a bit. Jose, why have I always got an aim jobs? How is he going to carry two crates? Quite the town you have here. We just rode in from up north. Hey. Hello. Hello, I'm Melvin. This is my brother Fenton. Don't mind him. Don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys? How'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come along, Fenton. I'm with you. And to hand hit some of the booze, just don't go stealing. Oh, here we go, proper bar scene now. Going in this way. How's it going? Gentlemen! Gentlemen! My name is Melvin. That's my brother Fent. He's a bit funny. But boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes. The drinks in this year bar, in this year town, are entirely free! Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them, so hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. Poor thing. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas, it's your luck. I'll have one, Ben. A gift. Bounty. Oh, there we go. It's a good, 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 good. Give me a sec. It works. Alright, you'll be fine. It happens. We're good. Thank you. Over here, Fit. Bit of drink, there we go. Nice, we did a good job. Quite a few cutscenes, so I can't tell when it's a cutscene and when it's not. You mention my mama, you're going down. Wife is going to kill me. I only went out for milk. I'll have one, Ben. Three drinks. Up you come. Don't be shy. Here you go, fellas. Let hit the spot. Keep them coming, Ben. Just keep them coming. How many of you guys are going to be drinking? Jeez. Come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn lick. An honest mistake. Boys, get him. Oh, 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 hell. I want both those sons of bitches dead. These guys are gonna go down. Oh, 
There's another guy. Boom. He did? Oh, he did. Boom. Sit down, fella. Put my bandana up real quick. You guys are going down. Uh, got it. Right in the face. What the hell was going on with this ragdoll effect then? Where are you, fella? Jose, you right? Yeah, you're okay. Are you upstairs? Oh, Jesus Christ. No, come in, no, come in, come in. Take a gun out, Arthur. Boom. In the head. Damn. You out, boy. Damn. In the head. Nice. I'm with you. I'm with you, Jose. Get going. Oh, Jesus Christ. You right? Yeah, he alright. I'm getting this out of here. Ain't gonna let this go, are they? I thought that was a good scene then. They got out the back. Got no, we ain't. I see them. Well, I'm gone. Them, I'm man. gone. You think we wouldn't find you? All right. Uh, yeah, yeah, just a bit. Oh, shit in the face plant. Uh, ow. I did not expect to die again. Jeez, I'm dying a lot in this game. I need to recharge my bloody snake eye a little. Dead eye a little. Oh, God. That went badly real quick. Wait for this bad boy to reload. I mean, this is the... Oh, I met a bullets. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh... Got another gun? Right. Then I got recharged, sweet. Okay. I'm with you. Missed. Christ, how many bullets did he take? Alright, you're going in. Face plant and rock, damn it. Damn. Damn. I'm with you. Ow. How many bullets did this guy take? Please go down. Missed. Yeah, thankfully the train will hopefully. Nope. You're going down. I think he did. Did he pull it to face? Uh, quickly sneak out. There we go. Come on, I need some more bullets with some... Where are all my other guns? Oh god. Yeah, I'm good. Don't die, don't die. Okay. Push to health. Okay. There we go, take that. I really need that. Don't think so. I think we're good. There's gonna be another one. I can tell. Yeah, pretty much. 
Uh, let me heal real quick. I think we good. Yeah. Nope. Remind me never to take up a career. What was it? Advertise. Yeah. You think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Yeah. I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite. See what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. I don't think I like the role of... So, what do you think? About what? The fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. Mm. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them. Or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side. And then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me... <laughs> 